So in some ways today, while it's about the 50th, and what a remarkable moment that is and those immortal words, to my mind, I think it's also about the fabric of heritage and about space heritage and the contribution that you all made. Without that site being honeysuckle up there, you've got nowhere to tell a story. But by having a place where you can gather under a dish, out in the rural, out in the valley, it's a place where stories can be told. And that's basically what today's been about. It's been about storytelling. And storytelling informs the future. And I know a lot of my staff are very, very young are amazed about the heritage of the park and about the space. So you've really inspired a lot of people collectively. So uh, I just want to say thank you. It's, it's been an absolute privilege on my behalf, and particularly doing what I do. I, I've, I often say I've got the second best job in the ACT government. I'm not sure who's got the best job, probably the minister. <laughs> but it's been an absolute privilege to have, to have been involved with you all, um, particularly with Mike and, and, and Hamish and, and John. It's, it's, it's been a privilege, guys. So, so thank you very much. It's been wonderful. And uh, congratulations. and. Uh, yeah, one small step to connect with nature. So, yeah. <laughs>
couple of weeks ago, Glenn and I were in uh, Sydney, yeah. the ABC, making uh, stargazing. And uh, I got to get up a couple of steps like this, and they asked me ahead of time, do you think you can do it? I said, oh, I'm not sure. Anyway, when it came my turn to go up on the stage there, two men rush out from the back with a little ramp. <laughs> it's really great fun. I said, one small ramp for my thing. <laughs> Uh, I get out of breath fairly easily. I must thank Brett and his team. Uh, Brett runs a fantastic shop. Uh, and we've had new, many meetings, haven't we? And uh, this morning was a culmination of, of all that. And uh, I can add my thanks to uh, everybody. <laughs> At the start, we had the ambition in our little committee that we would run that honeysuckle event. And uh, it took me about three weeks to say, no way. <laughs> uh, and I think I talked some of my other colleagues into that uh, same view and uh, never regretted it at all. And of course, here at Tibbin Villa, Glenn, we were lying greatly in all sorts, sorts of ways. It all happens with a minimum of fuss and uh, Anything and everything he has, uh, Glenn, he's good. He really does a fantastic job. Uh, he's cleared this room. What do you do with all the stuff that well, used to be in here, Glenn? I didn't personally clear it. But <laughs> 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 yes, uh, yeah, all the equipment yes, has gone back uh, stateside. This was the, at uh, one stage, one of its major uses was the DSS 46 uh, equipment area, uh, where it lived as a standalone station quite a few years. Anyway, I guess I'm partly speaking on behalf of uh, our little committee led by John, John Saxon. Where's John? John and Betty uh, really have carried this and uh, they've been working solidly for the last three weeks trying to come out with a seating plan for 450 people uh, for tomorrow. And I've, I ran out of energy. I just couldn't keep up with them. But uh, John and Betty have done a, a, a marvellous job, as has everybody else. Uh, well, yesterday's event at the uh, uh, Cambry on the, the Telstra PMG thing, that was uh, uh, John Westbrook's uh, initiative, that seemed to go very well. I didn't have enough strength to get to the movie yesterday, um, the Apollo 11, but if you haven't seen it, uh, do your best to have a look at that. Uh, I have a son-in-law here who thinks it's one of the best he ever saw. John's giving me symbols. Oh yes, the, the, the movie Apollo 11 is available on a DVD, which I physically bought from the States, but you do need to see it on the biggest screen possible. Uh, I think it's going to be shown in the Melbourne IMAX, but that's the only IMAX cinema in Australia now. So uh, have a look at that. Also, the Canadian uh, documentary was on last night uh, on SBS. I'm assuming that will be available on the SBS uh, system. And there's two or three other things appearing on uh, YouTube. I don't know if last night's uh, uh, National Museum event, uh, that was certainly sent out on, to the world on YouTube. So I assume that will be available to, to have a look at. Anyway, thanks for everybody. and. Uh, it's uh, a bit memorable today. I, <laughs> I made a commitment that 4 a.m. tomorrow, I'm talking <laughs> back to my hometown in Bradford, that they're going to show the movie The Dish. <laughs> and, uh, I, made a, I made a commitment three months ago. They said, oh, would you like to do a Skype Q&A on that? I said, oh, well, yeah, okay, okay. Anyway, about three weeks ago it surfaced that this is going to mean me at 4 a.m. <laughs> talking to them. And then somehow or other being at the Southern Trust Club at 11 a.m. And so how I'm going to achieve that, I don't know. Anyway, but on Monday, everyone will say, Mike who? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I've got to say a particular thanks to, to Mike and to John. Uh, the two of them have been absolute troopers. We have been bombarded with media requests for television and radio and print and online, and they've not refused any requests we've sent through. And we've gone, we've done some big trips together, haven't we, Mike, over the last little while? 
<laughs> so, uh, and, and now, this is the great thing, is Professor Brian Cox can finally tick off his bucket list and say, I have spoken to my dean. <laughs> Um, and again, yeah, thanks to everybody on the committee. Uh, you've all worked very, very hard on this, and I know you've put in a lot of very long hours. I keep seeing, you know, 3.28 a.m. emails from John uh, you know, out there. So you're all doing crazy hours. So they deserve uh, an enormous amount of thanks. Uh, just for uh, our event here today, obviously tomorrow is the big open day for the members of the public who will come along and have a much closer look at uh, the honeysuckle dish and uh, we're also going to be screening live uh, or in real time at the Apollo 11 moonwalk. All of you will be at the reunion luncheon, I have been watching it there. Um, very nice news just in the last uh, 48 hours is that ABC uh, News 24, what they're now called ABC News, is going to actually be running the moonwalk telecast live in real time, the entire broadcast. It's probably the best slow TV they've ever run. <laughs> so that'll be good. Uh, I just have to pass on a few thanks uh, to uh, people who have helped us today. Uh, to the Lions Club of Belconnen, thank you very much for coming and doing all the catering today. <laughs> Send me the bill and I'll pass it on to Ed. <laughs> uh, they're also going to be coming tomorrow, of course, and feeding all our members of the public. So I really, really appreciate all the effort that the Lions Club has actually made. Uh, for, I'll make some thanks for some people who aren't here. Uh, the Questcon <coughs> Science Circus are coming along tomorrow, so uh, I'd like to thank them just in front of all of you. They're going to be telling the public a lot more about science because we want to encourage more children into science, technology, engineering and mathematics so they can finally take over my job and I can retire. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, also uh, we have um, uh, St. John Ambulance and other crews that uh, are helping us tomorrow out. So, uh, just thanking them in advance and certainly Lions Club for today. I'd certainly like to thank Ed. Uh, Ed's been very patient with me. He sort of about eight months ago said, uh, you know, I said to Ed, you know, we've got to be doing this Apollo anniversary and he said, mm, try to keep it low key. And I said, it's the 50th anniversary, it's not going to be low key. And, but he uh, put the trust in me to go out and to uh, look after all of the, the celebrations that we're doing and all the interactions we've done. Uh, it's been really wonderful to be able to work with uh, the other institutions in Canberra, particularly with uh, the National Museum of Australia and Questacon and supporting their exhibitions, uh, taking a lot of old archival material and things that uh, would have come from all of your various sites over time, which are on display there, and I'm sure you've seen those, uh, to be able to kick off things like the Moon Rock Trail, which has been incredibly successful, actually. I've been very pleased with that, people going around the ACT and actually looking at all the different moon rocks we have in Canberra. Uh, it is the actual largest concentration of moon rocks outside of the United States, so we're very privileged to have all of that. And if you've never seen it, go and look at the one that we have up in our visitor centre as well. And uh, I'd like to just thank a couple of other people just uh, internally to my uh, left and right arm and left leg and right leg, uh, Corinne McDonnell, who I don't think is here at the moment, um, but she's busy running around. I couldn't do my job without her. And uh, to uh, another of our colleagues from uh, the CSRO, Seiji Young. Seiji, here somewhere, I'm sure? She was there, she is, hiding over in the corner. And thank her for coming along. I really appreciate getting that support out of the CSIRO. And also, Ed, just to all the staff that have helped over the last couple of days in setting up uh, all this event area. And uh, companies like Nova Multimedia have put on all the, uh, the AV for us as well. So thank you to all of them. Um, and that's pretty much it from me. Thank you all for coming along. The plan is... Oh, and I didn't notice in the front... Big gentlemen, thank you very much because it's really your effort, your dollars and cents and the driving force to make all this happen. I'm sorry, I didn't even see you there in the front row. You just blend in with the rest of the <laughs> extractors. Um, but thank you to you. You've been an enormous support uh, to us here at the tracking station over many years. Uh, you've been enormously helpful to me, as has your department. So thank you. Uh, definitely give uh, a minister of gentlemen a round of applause.